Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk briefly about Alandronid. Uh, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is All On On Law and please tell your friends to subscribe. You can tell them through the Facebook, email or Twitter account, whichever is convenient to you. Okay, here I'm discussing only important points that are related for your USMLE Step 1 examination. So please bear with me. Okay, let me start with this. Alandronate inhibits a osteoclast mediated bone resorption. Like all base phosphonates, it is chemically related to inorganic pyrophosphate, the endogenous regulator of the bone turnover. But while pyrophosphate inhibits both osteoclastic bone resorption and the mineralization of the bone newly formed by the osteoblast, alandronate specifically inhibits bone resorption without any effect on a mineralization at pharmacological achievable doses. Uh, its inhibition of bone resorption is dose dependent and approximately 1000 times uh, stronger than uh, the equimolar uh, effect of the uh, first bisphosphonate drug etindronate. Under therapy normal bone tissue develops and alandronate is deposited in the bone matrix in a pharmacological inactive, inactive form. For optimal actions enough calcium and vitamin D are needed in the body in order to promote normal bone development. Hypocalcemia should therefore be corrected before starting therapy. Atindronate has the same disadvantage as the pyrophosphate in inhibiting uh, mobilize, uh, mineralization but all the potent N containing pyrophosphonates including uh, sorry bisphosphonates including alandronate and also residronate, ibandronate and zolindronate do not. What are the uses? Prophylaxis and the treatment of the female osteoporosis, treatment of male osteoporosis, prevention and the treatment of corticosteroid associated osteoporosis together with supplements of calcium and vita vitamin D, Paget's disease, experimental treatment for osteogenesis imperfecta. The contraindications and uh, precautions. Acute inflammations of a gastrointestinal tract that is esophagitis, gastritis, ulcerations, clinically manifest osteomalacia, certain malformation and malfunctions of the esophagus that is strictures and achalasia, inability to stand and walk or sit for 30 minutes after oral administrations. If you are advising the patient uh, to take um, what do you call uh, um, alandronate or bisphosphonates, you should tell them to drink a lot of water because it should not stuck in the esophagus to cause esophagitis. Uh, renal impairment with a creatinine clearance below 30 ml per minute, uh, hypersensitivity to alandronate or any uh, another ingredient, um, hypocalcemia. Remember hypocalcemia because this is in USMD they will trick you with uh, potash electrolyte uh, levels. Hypocalcemia or hypo hypercalcemia, right? So um, remember hypocalcemia. Pregnancy and breastfeeding patients below 18 years of age has no clinical data exist. The side effects are very important, ulceration of the esophagus, this may require hospitalization and intense treatment, gastric and adrenal ulceration may also occur. Esophageal cancer meta-analysis concluded that um, bisphosphonate treatment is not significantly associated with the in excess risk of esophageal cancer. General infrequent cases of skin rash rarely manifesting as Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis, eye problems that uitis, scleritis and generalized muscle joint and bone pain uh, have have been seen. In a laboratory test, decreased calcium and phosphate levels may be obtained but reflect actions of the drug and are harmless. Osteonecrosis of the jaw, deterioration of the temporomandibular jaw that is TMJ may also occur while on this drug. If dental work of any kind is carried out, although this side effect is uncommon, it occurs primarily in the patient's being administered intravenous bisphosphonates with some cases, most cases being reported in cancer patients. Neurological rare instances of auditory hallucinations and visual uh, disturbances have been associated with alandronate and other bisphosphonates. Bone alandronate has been linked to long-term users to the development of low-impact femoral fractures. The interactions milk and the diet and the drugs containing high amounts of calcium, magnesium or al aluminium, uh, that is antacids. Uh, uh, the resorption of the alandronate is decreased. At least half an hour should pass after intake of alandronate before taking the supplement or a drug. Highly active vitamin D, uh, vitamin D analogs or fluorides. No data is available. Concomitant treatment should be avoided. 
Okay, additional beneficial effects of HRT that is a hormone replacement therapy with estrogen or progestin or relaxophene in a postmenopausal uh, woman remain to be elucidated but no interactions have been seen. The combination is therefore possible. The intravenous ranitidine increases the oral viability of the alendronate. No clinical consequences are known. The combination of NSAIDs and alendronate may increase the risk of gastric ulcers. Both these drugs have potential to irritate the upper gastrointestinal mucosa. Okay, these are the important points of alendronate for USMLE step 1 examination. Guys, USMLE will trick you nicely. So try to remember about the precautions. Try to remember about the side effects of this drug and the mechanism of action. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.